Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Joker. Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video here on the channel. So it's been a little while since we've made a Destiny uh, 2 video. Usually we do like PvP related content and stuff like that. But if you guys saw my last video, we did talk about doing other stuff like PvE related content as well. So I'm just kind of branching it out a little bit just because PvP is a little stale and stuff like that. So we're going to be uh, introducing a build that I've been using for like GMs and high end like content. It's pretty cool. This is basically our Celestial Nighthawk build on our Hunter. So let me just show you what the build necessarily revolves around. So we have the Celestial Nighthawk, right? This thing is really good. Your Golden Gun fires one high sh damage shot. It does stupid damage, <clears throat> but the Exotic actually got a little rework. So if you look at the um, description, right, for the Hawkeye hack, it says precision final blows reduce the cooldown of your super. Modifies Golden Gun to fire a single high damage shot. So that's, you know, the um, basically the, the gist of it. So every time you're getting precision final blows, you're reducing your super cooldown. So now where you would get that um, like one like strong ass like shot, you're actually charging that shit up. So you're getting it like more often because before, like, I'm not going to lie. So let's say Nighthawk was kind of trash. You would just like swap. You would swap to it, like pop your super and then swap back off of it. Now you can just leave this shit on for the whole entire like remainder of the nightfalls and stuff that you're doing or whatever content you're doing and this thing is like really good so we're gonna go over like uh the build that we're using the, the weapon we're using of course is the polaris lance we're also gonna be using well you're uh, honestly your kinetic it doesn't really matter like too much you just kind of go by like what you're trying to do like for champions and stuff like that or whatever you see fit most important thing though is polaris lance you need this and you need to have the catalyst on it because the catalyst gives you firefly and that's really good because it sets off chain reactions and stuff like that. So before we uh, go into all the weapon details and the armor builds and stuff like that, we're going to go into the subclass, right? So we are using the Gunslinger Super, of course, because, I mean, obviously, it, it, uh, Celestial Nighthawk, the Nighthawk does not work with anything other than Golden Gun. We're not going to be using Deadshot. We're going to be using the Marksman because if you look at it, it says your Golden Gun deals massively increased precision damage, over penetrates targets, and creates ores of power on precision hits. So this damage buff also stacks with the damage buff on the Celestial Nighthawk. So you're doing crazy damage there. So for our abilities, we're using the Gambler's Dodge, and that's just because when we dodge near an enemy, we just get our knives back, which is knife trick that we're using. Knife Trick, really good. You can use, honestly, if you want to go even more damage, you can use the Weighted Throwing Knife. I just use Knife Trick because it's good, like, in dire situations where you need it to just proc off or something like that. Um, but the Weighted Throwing Knife will ultimately do more damage. Now, for the jump, that's honestly optional. Usually for PvE, I do Triple Jump, and then for PvP, I do Strafe Jump, so... There you go. And then for the grenade, we are using a healing grenade because it is really good for survivability and stuff like that. We're going to need those on the main heels. We just throw it down on our feet and that's it. So the aspects we're using on your mark. This one's really good um, because basically precision final blows grant you and nearby allies increased weapon handling and reload speed for a short duration. And it stacks up to three times. And then activate your class ability immediately grants the maximum stacks of, on your mark. This is going to be really good because literally all we're doing is trying to just chain precision kills because that's what the Polaris Lance is all about. And we're trying a, a different aspect. Usually, I don't use the Gunpowder Gamble, but this thing is actually really nuts. You do have to be careful, though, because it replaces your healing grenade sometimes when you get the full charges on it. And I've almost killed myself before. Um, but once you get used to it, it's really good. Basically, defeating targets with solar abilities, which is your knives that you're always using, solar debuffs or solar weapons, which is basically your weapons, uh, it charges up and improves solar explosives. So just a really strong freaking grenade that does a lot of like AOE damage and it hits really hard. It hits literally like a truck. So for our fragments, we're going to be using the Ember of Torches. Powered melee attacks against combatants make you a nearby allies radiant. You want Radiant because Radiant's going to be really good for increasing, like, your damage and stuff like that. Also, Radiant has a passive, like, uh, buff against Barrier Champions. So, Polaris Lance, you're actually getting anti-barrier when you uh, proc it, right? And then we're going to be using the Ember of Solace. Radiant and Restoration effects applied to you have increased duration. This is really good, too, because basically your Radiant and your Restoration is just going to last longer. Your Restoration you get from your Healing Grenades, and your Radiant you get from basically your like any uh, form of um, like Radiant. So you, you got that. And then Ember of Singening, your class ability recharges faster when you Scorch Targets. This, I cannot stress, is really good because this basically, when you're constantly scorching targets, so you're just keep, you just keep generating your class ability energy. It's really nice. It's really good. 
Uh, then we have Ember of Ashes. You apply more Scorch Stacks to targets. So Scorch Stacks, basically once it hits 100 stacks, the enemy ignites. They take extra damage and it like kind of burns up every like fucking body like near them. So that's going to be really good. And as you see, Ignitions, it really is good against Unstoppable Champions. So like I said, you're with this build, you're automatically on your one weapon. You have Anti-Barrier and Unstoppable in the same, like in just one gun. Right. And then we have Ember of Empyrean. Solar weapon or ability final blows extend the duration of re sorry the extend the duration of restoration and radiant effects apply to you. So basically, just getting kills with your abilities or your weapon, which you already are, just keeps extending it. So you can throw like a healing grenade down, right? And then you're just getting kills with your Polaris lance or just any solar weapon, and you just keep healing constantly. Just keep healing, uh, literally just keep healing off of kills. It's it's kind of nuts, right? And of course, we're going to be running 100 Resilience. I feel like if you're doing any sort of high-end PvE-related content, I absolutely recommend having 100 Resilience, even if it means sacrificing your stats somewhere else. For Discipline, you want to have that as close to 100 as possible. I can actually get triple 100s. I just don't have it equipped right now. But yeah, you kind of want to focus uh, main priority resilience and then your second priority, probably your discipline. And then with that, after you're going to focus your mobility. So for our helmet, as far as mods, we are using harmonic siphon. Now you can use uh, basically like if you don't want to use two double harmonic siphons, I just do that because it increases the potency of the orbs that you get. So if you want, you can even swap this out for like heavy ammo, like uh, like scout. Or, you know, like something like um, like powerful friends if you want to like help your friends out more. You know, it, it all depends on what you want to do. But I just have it like that because I like the poetry of those orbs. I like to get my energy back. And then, of course, you have like the heavy ammo finder on there. For our gauntlets, we are rocking a harmonic loader. It increases the reload speed of solar weapons. I like this because Polaris Lance has pretty slow reload speed. So I want to just reload and just keep on going into the action. So we're also using impact induction. We're causing damage with a powered melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown so we want to get our grenades up because that heals us and then we have heavy handed where your melee final blows give you an orb of power which is your throwing knives so that's all self-explanatory so we're just generating orbs you know and just procking everything so for your armor you're gonna just honestly use whatever like is like the rotation so if it's like solar threat you want solar if it's arc threat you want arc if it's void you want void and the same like vice versa for every other like your threats i usually for default keep it like uh basically like one of each but you kind of just change this going off of what you're doing or what the modifiers are. Now for our uh, leg armor, right? We are using the recuperation where it replenishes health each time you pick up an orb of power. I have this just for survivability. Um, and then I have one kinetic weapon surge. This is because golden gun is actually kinetic damage. So when you have orbs of power, it basically feeds into that. And when you have the surge, you do more damage. And then I have the one solar weapon surge. Now, you can totally, if you want to do, like, stupid, like, crazy fucking damage, like, where you're just doing ridiculous amounts, you can literally ch change this all to, like, triple kinetic. Because sometimes triple kinetic, I only really do that when it comes to, like, raids and stuff, when you're trying to, like, kill a boss really quickly. Or if I'm trying to do, like, a dungeon run or something. But for my, my build here, I'm just using one of each. These are really good there. And then for our Hunter Cloak, or our class item, we are using Time Dilation, so our Armor Charge has longer duration from running out. We're using Powerful Attraction. I like this, personally, because when you dodge, you don't have to think about, like, grabbing orbs or, like, running on them. You just, they automatically collect to you, and, like, that's it. You just dodge, and that, that's literally all you have to do. Reaper, of course, because when you use your class ability, your next uh, weapon, Final Blow, will give you an Orb of Power, so it's just more orbs on top of orbs. And that's it. And so the most important thing about the build, right? If you don't know what the Polaris Lance does, precision hits return ammo to the magazine. Landing four precision hits loads a delayed solar explosive round for your next shot. So you just keep shooting. And like, as long as you're hitting precision hits, you're just going to keep on like going. You can literally just like stun lock the fuck out of like anything. Literally, like the only things you can't like really stun lock are like unstoppables because for some reason they just can't ever get stun locked. But even the boss in the Grandmaster Nightfall, like this week, literally, we were just stun locking him and he couldn't move. Like, it's it's quite ridiculous and silly how you're doing that much damage and you're just, they, they can't do nothing about it. And then the Catalyst, of course, gives it Firefly, where Precision Kills create an elemental damage explosion. This is good because it's basically gonna, like, help you, like, add clear and stuff like that. 
you know so that's yeah that's literally all there is to it as you can see i have almost 700 kills with this thing this thing is amazing i have have never really used this gun until this season like i've dabbled with it a little bit but this thing is absolutely disgusting and you know with that being said that is the build i uh, hope you guys liked it make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for those of you who are new here and i'm just going to continue uh playing like the footage this short-lived is evil's wrathborn are converging upon you through the ascendant plane you are advised to extract quickly what is this ascendant plane a realm that shadows our own i do not have the time or the patience to explain it to you then i haven't the same to listen